Hi, my name is Grace and with all the extra time I have these days, I figured I would finally start to make some tutorials for you guys. This is my first tutorial, so hopefully the quality isn't that bad and you guys can still follow along. In the past, I did have some requests for some sequences found on my Instagram feed, so I figured I would start with those. The one today is a drop, actually two drops um, from the knot pose, the ballet. Um, the way I get into ballet from my Instagram feed on that sequence um, is a little bit different from the way I'll show you today. The one on my Instagram feed, I start with the cross back um, or the Georgia twist. There's so many names for poses in area yoga these days. Um, but the way I'll show you to get into ballet today is just a simple way to get into it. So shall we get started? Start by standing on top of your hammock. Once you reach that point, you'll bring your right leg out to the side in front of your right post. Right now, my right armpit is behind the right post. You'll continue with that to get the right armpit hook as your right hand will grab for the left post. On the other side, you don't need the armpit hook here. So instead of bringing it forward, you'll bring it inside the loop and you'll grab the right post. Use your upper arm straight and pull your hands away from each other. Get the knee hook, bring your right leg through the loop, inside, knee hook. Some pointers here. Um, when you kick over your foot through the loop, a lot of the times I see the hammock slide down your lower back. So what's helpful here is to actively press your left foot into the hammock Keep the tension to make sure the hammock stays on your lower back. Keeping that in mind, you'll bring your left leg through the loop to the other side. Take your right leg out completely, then you bring your right foot inside the loop. Take your left leg out completely, no hammock on my left leg, and then you'll get the knee hook in both legs inside for your ballet. Here you can continue on with some stretches in your chest and shoulders, maybe grab opposite elbows, maybe interlock your hands together like this. Whenever you're ready to continue on, you grab up high on each post to pull yourself on up into your back straddle. So pull yourself on up, legs widen, and now the hammock's on your lower back. The next part is the knee hook on your left leg. Bend your left knee, get the knee hook. Full pose behind the left knee. Activate your right leg, maybe point your toes, really keep your right leg strong. Activate your left leg by bringing your left heel as close as you can to your glutes, and then maybe you can let go of your hands. Go for some chandelier. When you're ready to climb up top, reach for the pose. So here, it's helpful if you don't grab each post separately. Think of it like a rope, bundle it up together and climb. Climb, climb. To bring the hammock to your foot, where your thigh meets the booty. The next part here is Tinkerbell, so reverse grip. Palms face the sky, and then shoulders in front of the hammock. Tinkerbell, and then pull yourself in, side the loop, for back straddle into monkey. Get the foot lock here. Next, we'll pull yourself on up into the Vinci. So engage your core. Look at your belly, grab your bum, your feet. Pull yourself on up. We're just about ready for the drop here. So, like I said before, it's two consecutive drops. So if you really don't commit on the first one, there's no way you're gonna get the second drop right away. So trust the hammock. Believe in yourself. Maybe take a few deep breaths before. Um, if you don't really commit to it on the first one, if there's any type of hesitation, after the first drop, the hand will hook behind your knees and then you won't get the second drop. So just believe in yourself, you can do it. To get set up, you get Tinkerbell. So again, palms face the sky and then shoulders in front of the hand. Tinkerbell. Right now, my legs are straight. When I let go, I'll bend my knees like this. And then as soon as I let go, you clap your hands together. Also, keep your gaze 
squeeze to your belly. It helps with the momentum of the drop. Ready?